Hey guys, wanted to talk to you about something kind of serious today, and that is charity. I've thought about this idea before, I've heard about it before, but I've been listening to a lot of Jim Rohn, and he talks about giving back 10%, 10% of what you make to charity, whether it's your church, your community, some charity of some sort. And as I've thought about trying to generate more income, I think this could be a cool tool to experiment with. And the way it kind of ties in with what I'm doing, you know, tourism in general is thought of as something that boosts the local economy. You know, if you go to these parks, like that place I've showed you on top of that mountain right there, the sky cap, you know, things like that, or like the parasailing or touristy type things, or going to the expensive restaurants maybe, uh, going for the 50 ring at haircut instead of the 8 or 10 ring at haircut, which I'm about to do tomorrow. I talked to a local to find a good rate. If you're doing that kind of stuff, it certainly boosts the local economy. But if I'm living more like the locals here, if I'm mixing it up with the locals and hanging out with the locals, you guys have seen me do that. If I'm eating the local cuisine and finding the deals, like I mentioned the haircut, finding things like that, I'm kind of contributing a bit less to the economy. So in my view, since I can afford it by skipping the touristy stuff, just checking out the local culture, hanging out with the local people. I can afford the 10%, which for me right now is about 110 US per month. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I started today, I actually went to talk with a friend of mine. I do talk to locals here. I've made friends already, friends who have helped me, have been very generous to me. I went to talk to one of them today to ask what he thought would be a good charity for me to make that first donation for the first two months in Malaysia, which was going to be about 200 something dollars or about at today's exchange rate, maybe a little over a thousand ringgit. I went to talk to him and as soon as I go to talk to him, he just looks pretty grave and he tells me his family has just been hit with a terrible tragedy on top of another tragedy and uh, it's pretty rough. I knew right then that instead of donating that money to some charity or something I needed to do what I could to help him out. So I did that for Malaysia but I'm asking you guys for help with is what am I going to do for Chiang Mai. So I was there three months, 10,000 baht is a little over $300. It's pretty close to just make it an even 10,000 baht I want to donate to some charity in Chiang Mai. If it was something to do with animals, that would be cool. I mean, I was kind of heartbroken over seeing uh, the dogs there walking around with mange or blind or whatever. Um, what I want you guys to do is submit some ideas below. I'm gonna pick three ideas from some good charities, good charities, like local charities that really help Chiang Mai. I don't have time to do all this research. I've got the money to spare. I'm busy working on stuff though, and I'm busy trying to generate this income to keep growing it. That's part of the thing with the charity. I wanna help people, but I also know that when I give, more's gonna come back to me. So I'm working on keeping that ball rolling. If you guys can do a little digging, figure out some good, reputable charities in Chiang Mai. Post them below. I'm going to pick three, and then we'll make another video to vote on them. And I'm going to donate 10,000 baht. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Please help this channel get to 1,000 subscribers, and I can monetize it and donate even more. So thanks for doing that. Thanks for ringing that bell so you'll see when I upload more content. And I'll see you next time, YouTube.